All right, good morning. God bless you. You know Satan give you non-scripture and give you part of a scripture to keep you in sin. Satan do. No scripture tell you to sin, excuse you from sinning, justify you sin, keep you in sin. No scripture. The scripture tell you not to. God tell you not to. Ain't that right? The good I would do, I do not. You know that's the, the devil. The devil gave you all that years ago when you've been using it to, to go to hell. You've been using that scripture to go to hell. You've been using that scripture to stay in sin. Not, you not even know it. That's not even a scripture. That's an example Paul is given on how the flesh operates. The good you would do, you do not. Who calls you to do that? Not God. Let's go there. Romans the seventh chapter. You have no excuse. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ free you from the bondage of sin. Romans the seventh chapter. And the 15th verse. Watch this. My God. For that which I do. I allow not. For what I would. That I do not. But what I hate. That I do. Next verse, 16. If then I do that which I would not, I could sit unto, I could sit, I, I could sit unto the law that it is good. If then I do that which I would not, I could sit unto the law that is good. What law is that? The law of sin. I'm all right sinning. The wrong I'm doing is good. Ain't no wrong with what I'm doing. It's good what I'm doing. The law of sin. Read the next word. Now then, it is no more I that do it, but sin that dwelleth in me. When you do what you would not do, what you would not do, you do. Why you do that? Here is why. Now then, it is no more I that do it, but sin that dwelleth in me. For I know that in me, in my flesh, dwelleth no good thing. For to will is present with me. Yeah, I got a will to do right. But how to perform that which is good, I find not. In the flesh. How can I won't do right? I won't do good. How I'm gonna do that? You ain't gonna do it in the flesh. You can't put no cups in, in your flesh. But wait a minute. For the good 
Next verse, for that good that I would that I would I do not, but the evil which I would not that I do. Now if I do that I would not, it is no more I that do it, but sin that dwelleth in me. Sin, when you do what you don't do, what's that? Sin. What is it? Sin. Uh-huh. What do you say? Go see it no more. Phew. What did the Bible say? The way to see it is death. What did the Bible say? Repent for the remission of sin. What do you say? This cup is New Testament in my blood that is shed for me for the remission of sin. Sin in you, Jesus will take it out of you. Jesus' blood will cleanse you from all sin. In you. Come on. Read. I did find a law that when I would do good, even the penalty would be. What's that law? Sin and the sin nature you were born with. That's why Jesus said, very, very, you must be born again of the spirit. God's spirit. Not for your mom and dad. Come on. Come on. But I delight in the law of God, I'm the inward man. That's where my delight is to please God. That's where my delight in any saint's delight is to please God and not the devil. Not commit sin. Read. But I see another law in my Bible warning against the law of my mind. Telling me to sin. Telling me don't please God. And bring me into captivity of the law of sin, which is in my member. It bring me into bondage. Remember, G and St. John 8, Jesus Christ set you free from being a servant of sin. Jesus set you free. O wretched man I am who shall deliver me from the, from the body of this death. Now, next verse, I thank God. God through Jesus Christ our Lord. So then when so then with the mind I myself serve the law of God. With the mind I serve God, I don't serve the devil. I don't serve sin. With the mind I obey God, I please God. But with the flesh, the law of sin, with my natural flesh, the natural man, the sin nature. I serve sin, but with the mind, I serve the law of God. Where your mind that? Next verb, there is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. The one in Christ walking after the spirit, not after the flesh, not after sin, but after the spirit. Not after the sin nature. <laughs> For the law of the Spirit of Christ that made me free from the law of sin and death. You free from that law of sin. You can do good now. <laughs> you can do good now. Verse 5. But they that are after the flesh do by the things of the flesh. You after the flesh? You living in sin? You won't commit sin? You ain't saved? You ain't in Christ? Your mind is on doing sinful things. That's where your mind is. They that are after the flesh do by the things of the flesh. But they that are after the spirit, the things of the spirit. You say you after the spirit. You don't buy the things of the flesh. You buy the things of the spirit. How to please God. You out for the flesh. You ain't saved. Where your mind at? Do it all the wrong you want to do. Even when you want to do right. Wrong. I don't want to do wrong. But it's been so long. And I just can't help myself. That's sin. That ain't God. You have no excuse. Alright. That's enough. God bless you. Thank you for doing it.